back on on Concord. Picking up the uh, bow scabbard off the ground. I'm going to leave the bow on the ground. At least that's my thought for now. What I'm working on right now is the bow scabbard. It will be empty of arrows. And I uh, haven't decided whether I'm going to put the bow back in the scabbard or not. Not sure he'd take time to do that, but anyway, just uh, I'm using copper wire as a stick that will run the length of the uh, bow scabbard. This is what a bow scabbard would have looked like. There's a stick running across here to give it strength because the uh, quiver is just a, a sleeve that holds the arrows. So <coughs> to give it stiffness, they would have put a uh, stick along the uh, upper part of the uh, quiver, which was also attached or sewn onto the uh, bow quiver as well. So that's what I'm doing right now. What I'm doing is I'm making the uh, bow. Armature for the bow anyway. I ran the clay through my pasta machine. Get an even uh, thickness.
little trade cloth uh, on the top of the uh, seam of the uh, scabbard or the quiver, whatever way you want to call it. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to attach it. <laughs> Wanna do a little more research. Whoop! <laughs> My board went flying. Anyway, I wanna let this uh, cool down a little bit. It's uh, a little soft. And I wanna have it so that uh, I can work on it tomorrow. And I'll figure out a way of attaching it to the uh, figure and I'll do that tomorrow well as you can see there's a brush fire or something up there on the hills above my house here it was uh, just a thin wisp of smoke earlier but now it's really turned into something uh, it's turned into some thick smoke up there so hope it's not too bad Hope they're fighting it. <clears throat> Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.